This video will show how Card Exchange can be used to edit data in the database. Simple database editing is already available in the entry edition. When setting up the database connection, you can specify whether you want to allow editing at all, and if so, whether you allow for inserting, updating and or deleting records. To open the database edit window, please go to the data menu and select the button database data in the edit group. The database edit window shows up at the bottom, listing the available fields in the database. Card Exchange will remember whether you want to show the window for a particular card or not. If you accidentally close the window, you can always reopen it in the data menu. We can now use the database edit window to add a new record. We are not allowed to type the ID field, as the new ID value will be generated automatically. We configured it like that in the database definition wizard. If you don't want the ID values to be auto-generated, that is also possible. After typing all data, you have to click on the insert button to save the record. Updating a record is simply done by typing in the field you want to change. The update button gets enabled automatically and when you click it, the changes are saved to the database. Obviously, the delete button removes the record again from the database. If you are running the premium edition or higher, it is possible to configure additional options for the database edit window. You can change the text boxes into drop down menus. It is also possible to make fields compulsory. Let's open the data definition wizard to see how we can create a drop down box. We need to advance to the page that lists the available database columns. To create a drop down box for a job title, we select the corresponding column name and select drop down menu with fixed values. When using this option, you have to either type the possible values or import them from a text file. It is also possible that you have a table in your database that lists the possible values for the drop-down box. In that case, select the option drop-down menu with lookup table and specify the table name and the database column. Note that you can use different column names for the values that are displayed in the drop-down menu and the values that are actually stored in the database. Now we leave the wizard and as you see the database edit window shows a drop-down box for the job title looking up the possible values in the database. Another advanced option that is available in the Premium Edition is the possibility to define fields as required. Let's go back to the Columns page in the Data Definition Wizard and select one of the columns. On the right hand side, we can show the tab Requirements and see a number of advanced options. If a column is required for inserting or updating a record, it is not possible to add a new record without putting data in that column. Similarly, you can specify that a column should contain data in order to be able to capture a photo or a signature. If a column is required for printing, there are two options to choose from. 
skip the record when the column is null or empty, or hold the batch when the column is null or empty. Which option you choose depends on your personal preference and on the way card printing is organized at your site. It is also possible to prompt for a value before printing a card. This can be handy if you know in advance that certain columns still need to be filled with data. You will now see that we cannot add a record without specifying a name. The insert button remains disabled until you type a name. When we print a card, it now prompts for the name value, exactly as we configured in the database definition wizard. A last thing to note about database editing is that you can specify for each field whether it should be visible and or editable. We can, for example, make the surname field visible but not editable and make the name field not visible altogether. As you see, the database edit window is highly customizable if you invest in buying the premium edition. Thank you for your attention.